terms of eating um, into the basket if we are not careful is where, of course now we need to protect our post border practice and make sure that we are getting reciprocity and getting into the collaborations that suit our members. The other thing is to make sure that we empower the branches to deal with masqueraders and, uh, you know, and uh, require a firm person, they require a bold person. For instance, when you're championing the rule of law, there are many people who try to push back. So I am firm and I am bold and I act with decision. I don't postpone, I don't hope, I act. And I act now, I act as and when action is required. That's my first mantra. The other mantra is um, service to the bar, which is extremely important to me because it's about service. And that is why I get very concerned when I hear politicians saying um, that the government is investing in making sure that we have a council that will be friendly to government. You know the mandate of the whole society of Kenya is very clear and you must stay true to that mandate. It's not about fighting government, it's not about fighting the judiciary, it's not about fighting parliament, it's about serving, advising them, calling them out when need be. But more important, just making sure important, that I also be in the devolution committee. The other thing is that we have increased the monies that have been going to Nairobi over the years. The justification that I've been able to make for that is this. Nairobi has about 70% uh, of the practitioners in this country. So it will therefore be unfair to just give money equally. And yet we are saying member welfare is part of the function, is the critical call of the religion. So just being able to push for Nairobi to get more and also pushing for the other brands. And I lead a technical committee on maritime policy. Again, demonstrated capacity to take leadership and to move institutions from one level to another. The Law Society of Kenya has uh, more or less for a while now plateaued. We can do better. You know, so we need a leader who sees opportunities beyond the traditional areas of practice and helps the society grow. Because we have a growing population, we need creativity in our leadership. We to need watch a more, leader, subscribe. One who has vision and one who actually lives by that vision. From my service in that committee, I have been able to see certain gaps. Some things that we have uh, been able to feel or to reach, and some that require further action. Those that require further action, it has become extremely necessary to me that I then buy for the presidency of the Law Society of Kenya because I have seen that they need certain deliberate um, need or certain deliberate commitment. Again, I'll give the example of the question of cross border practice. It is, an, it is a risk to the society if we are opening up our borders and we are not getting similar reciprocity or similar advantage. So, you know, being able to identify.